Yeah, Mike, he does, he does. Like, you, you, you didn't have to tell me that. He loves me, but he hates you in the same breath. Well, if he hates me, he hates me. But I know he loves me, but he hates me in the same breath. Yeah, he does. He does. Yeah, 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 I'm talking. If you can't stand the heat, you stay the fuck out the kitchen and don't call yourself no chief. Cause a chief don't cry and a chief don't cower and a chief ain't scared of no heat. A chief ain't never been scared of that. You ain't seen Chief Alizar be scared of it. You ain't seen Chief uh, Chief Ephraim be scared of no heat. But look at you. I am sick of a, of a, of a, of a Johnny Come Lately brother who thinks he knows something, who don't know shit. Puffing himself up against the men that he says. Boy side, yeah. Work together, yeah. Yes, sir. And, 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 and what points would you use to support them? What place? Yeah. What way would you use to support them, sir? Like, what do you mean? What can you? What would you use in that text? Microphone. So, so to substantiate that it correlates with the bottom. All right. Sir. Yeah, that's a good question. There's the book of Mormon. But those who don't go together, do that? No, they get the Book of Mormon is the Bible going hand in hand. I asked you for a reason. You said it's another test to the word of Christ, right? Yeah. But we also got the Quran, which also attests to Christ, right? Yeah. So does that mean that the Quran coincides with the Bible? I've never read I've never read it. But, the, but I'm saying, I'll just use your, your point. You said that it's another testament of Christ, right? Yeah. Okay, and when you read the Quran, it also attests to Christ. But does that mean those two correlate? But in this one, we got, so the Quran also has the same prophets from the Bible, right? Mm, not, not exactly. <laughs> not exactly. Because uh, Muhammad isn't in the Bible. What's your name? What's your name? Oh, my name is Quran. Quran? Quran. Quran? <laughs> I, I can't really understand you. That's what I just talking about. That don't even matter at this point. It's kind of cold. I want to progress the conversation as much as we can. You can just call me Q. What's your name? Yeah. Okay. Call you what? Elder. Elder Nod. Nah. <laughs> you think a joke. <laughs> you said garlic. What, what's the what's your name? Garlic. Oh, garlic. Okay, I'll call you garlic then. Okay, so let me tell you just one emphatic reason why the two cannot coincide. Does the Book of Mormon say that anybody can be saved? Say that anybody? Anybody. Yeah. That's that's what it says. Okay, but the scriptures, the Bible doesn't. So there's a, 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 a plain contradiction right there and there. So there's there's two ways to be saved. You can be saved from death, and you can be saved from death. Well, 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 the scripture said that only it's, everybody can't get saved from neither one. So, yeah, so there's no way in hell that they can go together. If this one is saying, these motherfuckers gotta die, and that one is saying, well, everybody's gonna be saved. We'll just start, we can just start there and just get right down to the nitty gritty of it. Give me, uh, give me a day. We're not here to argue with me. Oh, no, that ain't no argument. I just want to see, because I see you have the Book of Mormon, and I just want to have a conversation with you. I said, oh, that's the Book of Mormon. Let's see what this is. I asked you, what key point? I said, how did that coincide? You said it, and you said, well, it's another testament of Christ. Yeah. And I brought up how the Quran is another testament of Christ. I just want to testify to you that the Book of Mormon is another testament of Christ. Okay, well, I disagree. I have, I have read the Book of Mormon, and I have come to it, it's true. And I would like to invite you. I, 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 got, I got the book of Mormon. I, I read some of them before. But look, I got a, Okay, let me, let me get some scriptures to you. And let me see if you agree and uh, disagree with it, right? right? So everybody can be saved, right? Well, let's do it here. Yeah, I know. I, I just want your answer before we move. Everybody can be saved. Yeah, everyone will be saved today. Okay. <laughs> 18. This is the book of Obadiah, chapter 1 and verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. And the house of Joseph a flame. The house of Jacob and Joseph. You familiar with those two? Yeah. They would be what? Yeah, they're they're excited to the Okay, so Israelites, correct? Yeah. And the house of Esau for stubble. For sure. You, 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 you familiar with Esau? Yeah. Esau? Esau? Yeah. yeah. You familiar with him? Yeah. Okay, and you know he has descendants, right? Called Edomites. Okay. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. So Israel is going to devour 
the Edomites, right? And there shall not be any remaining from the house of Esau. Not a single person remaining from the house of Esau. So is they being saved from death? And there shall not be any remaining from the house of Esau. Any remaining from the house of Esau. That means not a single person, a single descendant, future inheritance, anything. And 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 this because. If every, that's why I'm saying they can't call aside because we're saying everybody can be saved from death even but that just said this whole people got to be killed down to the the single living organism they all got to go even they, they, they hair everything got to go and I agree so uh, bring this up okay okay y'all do want to hear I, I just want to tell y'all be ready for slavery and, and, and the white man got to die that's, that's all they got to have white man they got slavery coming and all the evils. So that's why God hates y'all. That's why I come to this scripture right here. Oh, so look. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. That's the most right. I hate you. That's, that's what I want to let you know. The most I hate you. The most high God hates you. He hates your people because you are a descendant of Esau. That's right. You come from the Caucasus Mountain. Your people have been, been committing so many atrocious acts towards my people and, and, and they act as if just because they pick up a pick up a book and say, oh, we're sorry, the most high is going to forget about that. Get, 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 uh, 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 Surely he is the righteous thing with God. Yeah, he does, he does. Like, you, didn't, you, wouldn't, you didn't have to tell me that. He loves me, but he hates you in the same breath. He hates me, hates me, but I know he loves you, and he loves you, and he loves all your friends right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. you know that. Are y'all sorry, though? Y'all gotta be sorry for the day. Yeah. You have a great rest of your day. No, sure. Don't you have enjoy the rest of your day. Be ready for slavery, man. Yeah, I'm going to see you guys. Wait, 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 This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, and verse 10. He that lead him into captivity shall yeah, go no, into captivity. He that kill him with the sword must be killed with the sword. Your people have to be killed with the sword. You are led to captivity, you must go into captivity. Because surely it is a righteous thing with the most high to repay the evil for what they have done. That's why you're running the wicked free. But we don't want the chance of God. So I tell them his judgment. Well, I'm cute. Well, I'm cute. Gotta run. Gotta go. Today. Hey, this is what I want to bring y'all down. This is the book. Of 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. It's going to be righteous when we whip the yellow ass in the kingdom. But with that, we're going to say shout out.